Hi, everybody, and happy Tuesday. I had to think about what day of the week it was. But we are really excited to be with you guys for a session of Evening Hymn Requests. The last two that I played are both by Graham Kendrick, and that is not a composer that I grew up hearing, so those are not as familiar to me, but Miss Odom sent me the music for them, and she bought the music and sent it to me and asked me to play them, and I have a couple more of his that I still need to practice a little bit more to do them justice. I don't want to play them before I am a little bit more familiar with them. And then I played right before that a new one for me, which it's a John Peterson song, but it's A Flag to Follow, and that was out of the Bible True, there we go, Bible Truth Hymns, hymnal. And that's a hymnal we use at church, but that was a new song for us, so that was a fun to play as well. And then I think I started off with the chorus of Because He Lives and then some of The Healer, which was requested in the afternoon comments when I posted that we were going live. So I'm going to play as many of your requests as I can. Josh, as usual, is behind that wall on the other side in the office, and he'll tell me what you guys want to hear. And then, of course, over here on the side, she's currently gnawing on Emily's finger. Yes. She has my whole thumb in her mouth. Raylan's over there chilling. So she is almost seven months old. Say hi. I can't believe that. But <gasps> you say hi? Very happy little thing. She needs a lot more tools to distract her than she did a few yeah, months she ago. Does. She needs I her. I have like ten toys over here. I got all her little toys. Hey. You give a smile. She's a happy girl. So <laughs> we enjoy she her. She's very sweet. She's six months old? Almost seven. Almost seven months old. Come the beginning of June. Yeah. And she's a sweet girl. She, she got is. sick for the first time, though, last week. Yep. She had a little some sniffles and all kinds of things, and it was just pitiful. She was so subdued. <laughs> but she's back. She's back. Say, I'm back. <laughs> Ready to party. <laughs> Yay. Oh. She's so, a sweet girl. All right. We'll see what you guys want to hear, and that's what I will play. So. Okay. Well. Let's see, how should we start this off? I think, Natalie, maybe you should s give a, a little bit more of an update of what we've been doing since we were on here three months ago. Okay. Can I? I'm having a hard time hearing you. And, okay, so while he's working on that, I'll tell you, all, we've been traveling a lot. So our family music ministry has really been busy just in a lot of different churches, singing for different meetings and conferences and revivals, and it's been really fun, but it we've been gone about as much as we're home, it feels like, especially over the last few weeks. So, But it's been a lot of fun. And even though we're not doing live sessions as often, we are still posting a lot of videos to our YouTube channel and lots of new sheet music arrangements. So there's still a lot of new stuff coming. We just don't get to go live quite as often. So we're hoping to do that a lot more this summer, though. So for sure. So that's the plan. Okay. And someone asked if we were going to be in um, Pennsylvania this year, and we are. I believe it's the last week of August. Mm -hmm. um, and hold on, I think the town is Greenville, Pennsylvania. We can, uh, I think that's the right town. I, I can't remember, but it's way over on the western part of the state. So mm -hmm. anyway, that's the answer to that question. All right. So let's do I Saw the Light. Okay. and furious. When I see the blood.
right, let's do What a Day That Will Be. Okay. I think we're about to lose Raylan. <laughs> it's not the first time she's fallen asleep this while music I'm playing. Is putting her straight to sleep. Yeah. But I figured. If she, if she realizes it, she jumps up <laughs> and tries to grab a toy, and then she falls back and closes her eyes. Look at her. Yeah, yeah. She won't. She won't be uh, with us for long. I'm this afraid. This is a little late for a nap, though, mommy, isn't it? It's okay. She usually takes a little tiny cat nap. Okay, so. cat nap while mommy plays the piano. <laughs> and y'all, a grand piano in a room is very loud, but this kid has been in church like eight, ni eight nights a week since she was poor. <laughs> so she is just there. fine. Yeah. Look at her. So. She's gone. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's do it as well with my soul. Okay.
That is a powerful hymn. Wow. <laughs> I played three verses and I was kind of singing the second verse while I was playing the second verse, but I know my friend Rhoda, if she's watching, she was singing the third verse with that one. She loves the third verse of those hymns. A lot of times the third verses do have so much doctrine in them, and that one does. So wonderful, wonderful song. Be Thou My Vision. Okay. I'm enjoying playing this evening. You guys are requesting some really beautiful hymns, and it's just, um, it's really, it's good to be back at it, so. And that, I did a key change in that one, and it reminded me that I had made a note to myself to remember, to tell you guys. We released a key change course, because I probably get just about as many questions about playing in 6-8 timing as I do how to change keys. And so it was meant to be a mini course and I was gonna make it really short, but as I developed the lessons and wrote out the handouts and wrote out all the different types of key changes, it turned out to not be quite so many. So it was, it's about, I think, Josh, you can help me. I think it's about an hour and a half of content. Is that right? I don't remember. Something like that. So it's about an hour and a half and it explains every possible key change going up, down, fourths, half steps, whole steps every possible key change you can think of. So that's the newest course that's on the website. And I include lots of handouts, lots of charts. So if you're a pianist who plays by ear, there's lots of chord charts. And then if you're a pianist who you need to see it and see exactly what I'm doing in that key change, I write it out exactly and give you lots of ideas for your preludes and how to change keys throughout your prelude if you're theming it together or if you're going up a half step during your congregationals or things like that. So. Lots of information there for the pianist who really wants to add key changes to your playing. All right. Let's do He Hideth My Soul. Oh, okay. Another pretty one. Wow, you guys are asking some, requesting some great songs.
verse says, with numberless blessings, each moment he crowns and fills with his glory divine. I sing in my rapture, O glory to God, for such a redeemer is mine. And I love that phrase, numberless blessings. And if you've ever tried to number them out completely, you will run out of numbers before you run out of blessings. So tell me some things the Lord has done for you in the comments. I want to hear about some of those blessings. I sound like Emily. I can't believe I came up with that idea by myself. <laughs> So I'll start it off. I'm very thankful for my Bible. That's, that's one of my most favorite blessings. So You should write a song called that. I have written a song called that. <laughs> she has a song called, I'm Thankful I Have a Bible. Okay, she literally took the words out of my mouth, y'all. I was going to say, y'all know there's two things that I love. One is worship. And since we can't see y'all worshiping in your heart, you got to put emojis. Because that's the only way we can see you worshiping. Every time you're on an episode, someone even on YouTube comments <laughs> a, a list of emojis. Good. These are for Emily. <laughs> I need emojis. Put the emojis in there because then we know you're praising and worshiping with us. So that's the first thing I love. The second thing I love is the lyrics. Mm -hmm. I love hearing her play, but like the music is powerful because of the lyrics behind it. So in the rest of the songs that she plays this evening, any lyric that comes to mind or word if there's one rock word, the word that just stood out to me in that one was um, something about life. I just forgot it. What was the last line about? Um, he, he hideth my soul in the cleft of Doesn't say something about he, something. He about hideth life. my life, life in the depths in the of his love. Depths of his love. I never noticed that. He hideth my life. And I was like, that is beautiful. It's not just a part of us, our mm -hmm. soul or our heart or our mind. He can do all of that. But he also hides, like, he protects our whole life so that just stood out to me mm, that's good. so on the next few songs i'll type a lyric or a line or a word that means so much to you while i mm. sit here holding a sleeping princess i'll call her sleeping beauty <laughs> <laughs> okay what's next i shall know him oh okay good one. fanny crosby if mm, i'm not mistaken i think so, so i'm sure if i'm wrong somebody out there knows and you'll tell me who actually wrote it Note sneaking in that one. Hey, Sorry. Don't try, try again. Don't cross God, <laughs> okay. <That's funny. laughs> okay, the word that stood out to me in there was an adjective, blessed face. Because it, it didn't just say look upon his yeah, face, yeah. it said his blessed face. Adjectives are great, adjectives make the world more colorful. But that was good in that song. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little off topic. Heaven's going to be sweet. <laughs> it is. His blessed face. All right, this next. <coughs> This next one, I think, is Emily's favorite. Tis so sweet to yes. trust in Jesus. That is Emily's that favorite. That is my favorite. Okay.
My faith looks up to thee. Okay. Let's, do you know He Abides? Yes, I do. I did two for you. So that song, one one of two of my favorite lines in it. One is Jesus satisfies my soul, which I really love. And then the other line is the hand of God in all my life I see. And I think when if you look back on your life and you realize how God has traced your steps, letting him lead is a wonderful life. It's just wonderful. So he always does what's best, even when his path may look a little bit unconventional to you at the time. Remember that he sees a much bigger picture than we do. Just at one moment in our life, we see the present and, you know, the past is usually pretty cloudy. But he sees our past, present, and future all completely clearly. So if you look back over your life, the hand of God in all my life I see. I love that phrase. Somebody's awake. Oh, that was a cat nap. <laughs> Say, did I hey. did I miss anything, mommy? <laughs> hey, did you miss a party? Uh, Say, I never want to miss a party. No, I got FOMO, <laughs> fear of missing out. Say, I heard somebody start playing some more music, and I said, time to wake up, right, Harper? <laughs> where's your mommy? Hey, where's your mommy? Nope, she doesn't want to look over at you. She locks my no. slippers. <laughs> All Welcome right, back. Natalie, do you know the man of Galilee? The man of Galilee. No, I do not. <coughs> Oops. If it's in a hymnal that I have, I would be happy to play it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's in The Favorites or Broadman or if anybody knows what page it is or what hymnal it's in, I'll play it. Do you know Just As I Am? I do know Just As I Am. <laughs>
a beautiful song. Mm -hmm. I feel like that used to be sung very commonly for invitation services. And then, I, I don't know, I feel like we, I've gone a few years and haven't heard it as often. But that's a wonderful hymn, not just for the lost, but mm -hmm. for the saved too. All right, let's do Wonderful Grace of Jesus. Okay, Ooh. wow, change of tempo. Glad she's already away. Yeah, I was about to say, Ray Raylan probably wouldn't be able to sleep through that. All right. <laughs> receive a simple men. Christ receiveth sinful yeah. men. Oh yeah. Enjoyed herself. That was fun. <laughs> Say, see you next time. Say, Emmy's in town all summer, so we're gonna. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> what else? Huh? Is that all? Okay. Say bye, bye, everybody. <laughs> Say, keep loving Jesus and tell everybody about him. <laughs> That's a good, good advice. <laughs> bye, bye. Um, Oh, bye -bye, thank you, Emily. You're welcome. Okay, bye bye. We'll see you in a few. <laughs> I know a man who can. Say that again. I know a man who can. Okay. Oh, that's my favorite. Uh, yeah, Emily loves that one. Oh. She chose that one to walk out on. <laughs>
I never shall forget the day. Okay. Good job. Thank you. Glad reunion day. Okay. is one of my favorites in the red back. That's just a great, great song about heaven. So, All right. It seems like we've um, shifted gears a little bit. The we next did. one is Canaan Land is Just in Sight. Oh, buddy. Okay, hold on. Let me grab the hymnal for that one. I don't want to slaughter somebody's favorite, and that is not one I have memorized. I should, but I don't. Which, honestly, through, through the YouTube series that we're doing where I'm playing through all of the Redback, I have had to learn. That's not in the Redback. Canaan Land is just in sight. I have no idea where that is. I may have to take a rain check on that one and actually practice it. But I've had to learn a ton of these songs in here because I think we probably only sang like half of them. And so that out of 409 songs, that's or whatever, 409 pages, it's a bunch. I don't think I know Canaan Land is just in sight well enough to try to play it, so sorry. Well, let's do He's My King. He's My King. Oh, that's another one of my favorites in the red back. That's just a great one. So, wow, y'all have, you're picking a lot of fast ones now, so it looks like the first half was kind of slow.
Amazing Grace. Amazing Grace. Okay. And while I'm thinking of it, it just popped into my head while I was playing that one. We have been asked several times if we're having the choir conference again at our church this summer. And yes, we are. So it's July 29th and 30th. The 29th is going to be the hymn sing that Friday night. And then Saturday will be the choir workshop that our family is doing in conjunction with Bible Truth Music. So we'll have some new songs. I'm working on several new choral arrangements of some original stuff that we'll get to then send home with you so you can hopefully use it and be a blessing in your own church choir. But we'd love to see you guys bring your whole choir, bring groups and come and worship with us that weekend and learn some great new songs. And we're really excited about it. So there'll be a link on our website to register and to take care of all that fun stuff in the days ahead. So, but just mark it on your calendar and come join us. We're in the upstate of South Carolina. So it's a great time of year to come visit. Amazing um, Grace. Tell about the hymn sing next month. Oh, yes. Okay, I'm sorry. I was, draw I was drawing a total blank. And I was like, where am I going to be next month? It's in two weeks, I think. Two or three weeks. June the... Uh, 17th or 18th, whichever 17th one is the 17th or 18th. It's that... 18th. Emily's hollering at me. She says the 18th. We're going to be in Fort Collins, Colorado at the Walker... Manufacturing gotcha. Company Hymn Sing. Did I get that right? You did. Okay. So I saw the handout today and I was like, get all the words right. So lots of words. But that is going to be super fun. We're getting to, I'm accompanying one of the Hymn Sing sets. There's three sets and it's an outdoor event. Bring your lawn chairs. It's going to be super fun. We are absolutely thrilled to be a part of it. And I'm going to be playing for one of the sets and Josh will be leading that set. And then Emily is going to travel with us kind of as a, nanny and as a violinist for the event too she's going to be playing and we're going to do some singing and oh we're just super excited we absolutely love colorado so that's one of our favorite vacation spots anyway so we're really looking forward to being out there so if you're near that area or you want to make a weekend of it come join us All is there right. anything else no i mean you can talk if you about i can't think you of like anything to, else if you're done, you can play Amazing Grace. I'm done. I'm done for now. If I think of anything else, I'll let you know. <laughs>
the verse in there, one of my favorite verses is the one that I think is least commonly sung. And it is, the Lord has promised good to me. His word my hope secures. He will my shield and portion be as long as life endures. So if you're a song leader and that verse is in your hymnal, please don't leave it out. That is such a verse of assurance and confidence reminding us that the Lord has promised good to me and then all the qualities that he is. His word is true. His promises are true. He cannot fail and uh, he's enduring. That's, and the verse talks about that. So I love that verse. So that's the one I added at the very end after I played the last verse. I remembered that I wanted to play that one. So I added it. Okay, let's see. Um, let's try, or I guess you can do more than try on this one probably, Mansion Over the Hilltop. say or play? Um, I'll play a few more if there are more requests. But if you're new, thank you for joining us for the first time. And if you've watched us many times before, thank you for joining us again. And we hope to do quite a few more lives over the next few months. And um, that's going to be a blessing. We enjoy doing that. Live sessions just have an energy about them that um, a pre-recorded video doesn't always have. So we keep posting. We just did a medley of Philip Bliss songs, and he's a great composer and a hymn writer. And I think I did eight or 10, maybe 11 of his songs, some of my favorites of his for a new YouTube video that Josh uploaded a few days ago. And some new congregational accompaniments, Since Jesus Came Into My Heart, Great Is Thy Faithfulness, Nearer Still Nearer, I think are some of the most recent and then our family sings. We have some of our albums and things like that on our website, natalierainsmusic.com or therainsfamily.com. You can find them there too. So that's what we do. We do our goal and desire is to bless the church musicians by giving you guys the tools you need to do your job really well and do it for the glory of the Lord. So we produce video courses if you want to learn to play or learn to play better. So we've got great him playing information and resources all on the website. So, and if you have specific questions, please feel free to email us or message us and we'll get back with you with an answer. All right. So let's wrap it up with, uh, the comforter has come and I feel like traveling on. Okay. Wow. Those are two great ones. All right. Comforter has come. I feel like traveling on. So I'll play them as the closer. So I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the week and Lord willing, it won't be much longer until we do this again. So it won't, we won't go as long as we did between this session and the last one. So that's the plan, but hope you all have a wonderful week in the Lord.